Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review. I'm sorry if you've just watched the video on books because this is the second one. Uh, it's going to be on video, on the video and download and things like that. Um, video content, uh, visual content to visual. It's all visual, I suppose, isn't it? But uh, please like, subscribe, check out Car Magic Course, as I said, um, and have if you're watching this on the blog, check out the channel Real Magic Review. If you're watching this on the channel, check out the course CarmagicCourse.com, which is a video course. Now, for someone who's so into his books, and someone said in one of the comments, you sound like you're selling, you're telling people not to go on your uh, <laughs> your video course. When I, I did a video on something else the other day, um, and that is not the case. I love video as well. I use both, and there are pluses and minuses to this. Let's look at the big complaint with video. The big complaint, of the, the, and there are hardcore, no, it's all about the books, people, and it's all about the magazines, and digital content is wrong, da 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 And that's, to me, it's just the fact that you're not, that, that's a different thing. None of it, and there's no right or wrong here, and, and be very careful if people become too dogmatic about this stuff. I would steer clear, not of them, if they're lovely people, I'm sure they are, but of people with too strong opinions on either anything in magic, that is like, you must do this. You've got to find your way. It's all about make, what makes us happy, isn't it? Uh, and videos make me happy. You know, just a couple of examples. Um, oh no, we, we go back to the the big the big dogmatic thing of you end up if you watch too much video, you end up copying people's style and you end up copying the way they do things. Well, I I would say that happens with reading as well. Sometimes if it's a well written book, they are telling you how they do it, and you know you might use a slightly different part of the finger. You might hold the deck very slightly differently. So part of the learning process is always to adapt. The last part of the learning process, back to David Cole, back to the people that studied this stuff, you know, Bernice McCarthy, is the, the so what at the end. It's like you've gone through, you've learned the thing, then it's time to take it into the real world and adapt it to yourself and make it yours. And I think most of us are intelligent enough not just to go and copy the way the person does it. And if people do that, it's quite a knowing thing. I think people know that they're kind of copying, and I think that's fine as well. When I started, I learned from Bill Malone DVDs and uh, David Regal DVD, and I didn't, I didn't copy his style, but I definitely copied the way it was done. And I don't really think it gave me any harm. I think it gave me confidence. It gave me confidence to see the stuff in action, even if it was a hired audience you know, I could still see for myself how that stuff looked. And that's the important thing. Some books, no matter how good they are, cannot convey the timing, cannot convey the the speed at which a move is done, even sometimes get the text wrong, so you get really confused. So for me, there is a real joy in what I'll tend to do is learn out of a book if I've got the time, and then to almost test myself and watch the video. And sometimes the video will be not as good as what I've come up with. I've seen people that have invented slides that I kind of think, I think I'm doing that a little bit better. Well, not better, but I'm doing it in a way that I that it suits me and therefore it works with me better. It's a it's a I saw someone doing a slide the other day that I'd learned out of a book and it was just too quick for me. It was like it was too obvious. So I just slowed it down because I thought, what do I want? To, what is my character in this performance? And I think most of us will do that in time. I think if we're performers, we do that. And if we're not performers and we're just people that do magic for our friends and we do copy someone's style, well, so what? You know, that's the other thing. It's we don't always have to be these ultra original. Everything's original. It's like do magic for your friends. Do it how you want to do it. You're taking joy to them. They're experiencing joy from you. That's what it's about. So I think it's nonsense, this idea of stealing someone's style. And if you do, people are going to steal stuff of people anyway. And I talked about this in the blog. You know, people steal from stand-up comedians. They steal all over the place. It's going to happen whether you read it in a book or watch it on a, on a DVD. There is something in the teaching of DVDs, which I think it, when, when people write books, it is accepted that that's a skill. When people teach on DVD, it's not quite as looked into. And I think it's just as much of a skill. Maybe it's not quite as time-consuming to learn as a skill, but I think that that it is something that teaching is a skill. It's a difficult thing to do. It takes patience. It takes empathy. You have to really imagine what that person is going through. And something we get wrong quite often when we teach is that actually, what's it like if, if I've never seen this trick? How, um, you know, someone even now, after years of card magic, if someone tries to explain a trick to me, most of the time I can't learn it because they're going too fast. They're not doing it from my point of view. They're not empathizing with me about actually, what do you mean? What, num what, what does that mean? Why am I doing that? It's people tend, to kind of brush through things on video. Not all, and I would say, obviously I'm incredibly biased, but part of my video course is it's super slow. It's, I go over again and again and again. And the great thing about that, if you've got it and you don't need to watch the next three times, then don't watch it. You press stop, you've got it, great. But, it, but I kind of try and go through everything and that is 
what we have to do. We have to err on the side of caution as teachers and learners and be honest and say, I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Can you explain again? And this is why I think the lecture situation uh, can be quite bad because I've tried to learn in lectures before and I don't. So with lectures, I wash it, I let it wash over me, I watch it, I enjoy it, I get the notes, I get the material, go home and then I process it. That's not the same for everybody. So I think video is wonderful. And for me, no, they're not as beautiful as books, but they are nice, you know, what I was gonna get out earlier, you know, you got the, the, just, I've got loads like this, but the Michael Vincent DVDs, they're just beautiful things for me, you know, they're lovely. You get them out, you, the ritual again, taking them out, putting it in the machine, sitting down with my mat and watching it is not quite there for me with books, but it's, it's similar. And, um, you know, Dave Williamson DVDs or Louis DeMattos DVDs, um, again, beautiful things, you know, not the same as books, but there's something in that aesthetic that, and the ritual that I like. So in summary, you know, video's great. See how it's done. Look at the rhythms and routines, understand that you can change them. And, and I think it's a really, really useful thing. I think we're in a wonderful time now where we can get these video. And I'm not gonna do a separate video on it, but obviously we have downloads because at the moment it's COVID, there are live streaming sessions, you know, Ben L, Vanishing Inca doing those, they're all absolutely brilliant. And I think in, in some way, it's not a golden age for performing at the moment, but it is a golden age of learning. With that comes too much abundance, of course, which is kind of the point of these videos in this blog. It's, it's kind of, and I'll be doing future videos on blogs on recommendations if you're learning to, to cut out the noise because there is so much. Um, but I think, you know, keep your own mind, be open-minded. It's the most important thing in learning anything. Try everything and you will maybe learn from sources that you didn't think you would learn from. So um, any questions, any comments, let me know. Like, subscribe. If you're watching it on the blog, check out the channel. If you're watching it on the channel, check out Car Magic Course and, and the blog and I'll be blogging a lot more on there. Take care.